And now to breaking news, federal investigators released its first report on the CTA yellow line that crashed in November. 38 were injured. CBS 2 Sabrina Fradze is live in the newsroom. Sabrina, what did you learn? Well, the National Transportation Safety Board is still investigating, but one thing is for sure. While the driver tried to stop, it was not in time to avoid a dangerous collision. Trains are configured to take a certain amount of distance to stop. The larger and faster the train, the longer the distance it will need to slow down. The CTA is responsible for calibrating this distance. Now the yellow line service is still suspended and the investigation by the NTSB continues almost a month after this train collided. Passengers on board with a snow removal equipment that had workers on board there. We're learning more about what happened and what went wrong. We're told at this point in the investigation, the NTSB believes the operator of the train did nothing wrong according to CTA protocol, nor did the CTA workers who were operating the so snow removal equipment on what was a clear sunny day. They were practicing for the real thing, waiting for clearance to move themselves. That clearance didn't come fast enough. We're learning that in order to stop the train, an operator needs to respond after it passes a signal. CTA's yellow line signal system is designed and configured to allow a stopping distance of 1,780 feet. If you look at that yellow line today and redid it, it would need 2,745 feet to be configured for the appropriate stopping distance. A new yellow line would need that stopping distance that begs the question, why would it be configured to be less? The chair of the NTSB was asked if the yellow line is safe to reopen. Uh, we are not saying the line is safe. I will say that passenger rail overall is uh, safe, is an extremely safe mode of transportation, much safer. Uh, than getting in your car on any day and getting to your destination or coming from your destination. Uh, in this case, we're still conducting our investigation. So um, it is up to CTA to ensure the safety of their system. As we mentioned, these are preliminary findings and the NTSB has not ruled anything out as their investigation continues. We have reached out to the CTA to see when they expect that line to open again. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Sabrina.